This is a short video to help you practice your German verb endings in the present tense. And we have five sentences, each of which contains one error. So you have to find the German errors, and I encourage you to pause the video and to see if you can find them yourself. But let's go through them together. And I don't want you to look too closely at these wrong sentences and internalize the mistakes. So let's go through them quickly and find the errors. In the first sentence, the verb ending st is wrong. And the reason for that, hopefully you saw it, is that the verb com or common in its infinitive form is going to come from the subject air. Air is in charge of the verb and the ending for air is always T, at least with regular verbs. So it should be er kommt aus Deutschland. He comes from Germany. In the second sentence, we have a wrong verb ending, but it's actually a completely wrong verb because with this verb, sein, all of the endings are actually complete words because it's so irregular. And we have ich bin, but in addition to ich bin, and I reckon I know why some people make this mistake when they're first learning German, it's because they look at the meine and they think, oh, meine refers to me, so maybe that goes with the verb ich, I. But of course, the person in charge of the verb here is not meine, it's meine Mutter, which, if you think about it, could actually be replaced with sie she, and the ending for she is ist. Meine Mutter ist sehr intelligent. I'm actually going to cross out the bin and cross out the st, so it's very clear that these are mistakes. Number three, this is also a classic error. It's not a bad error, but it's a classic error, and we say this in English as English native speakers a lot as well. So the verb that's chosen is sind, but sind comes from either the wir form or the z form of sein. So it's plural. But if we have a look at the subject as the person in charge of the verb, your family, even though family is made up of lots of people, it's actually singular. That means that we can line it up with meine Mutter from over here. It's singular and it's feminine. The word for family is feminine. So it's actually z. And that's going to be the verb ending that we want. So, deine Familie ist groß. Let's cross out the sind and make sure we know that it's an ist. Number four, ihr magt basketball. Sounds very wrong because the vowel in this verb is wrong. And again, I know why people make this mistake. They look at the conjugation of Mergen and they say ich mag. And so when they get to their plural form, they think, oh, well, surely we're just going to do the same thing. But with a T, isn't that the second person plural ending? But no, the second person plural ending always comes from the infinitive. And the infinitive is Mergen. So what we do is we chop off the EN from Mergen and we add a T, and that's the correct ending. So let's get rid of this word altogether. You guys like basketball. Ihr mögt basketball. And number five, mein Bruder und ich. And then we have the verb, which is again wrong, but this is subtle. Now the ending is wrong here. Why is that the case? Well, look at the subject. The subject is not ich. That's not the person in charge of the verb here. It's actually mein Bruder und ich. That's the subject. It's two people. And it's not two people in the sense of they. It's two people in the sense of we. That's where the subject lies in this sentence. So you're going to need to have that we ending. So we'll cross out Liebe. And instead of Liebe, we'll have the wir ending, which is Lieben, which is pretty much always the same as the infinitive. My brother and I love tennis.